Hi, everybody. Today for Creative Creatures, we're going to see how I draw a taper flops. Just so you know, there's a coloring book that you can get through Amazon. Just follow the link in my description and you can get a coloring book to show me how you color to how I draw. Okay, pencils first and then Sharpie. So if you want to watch the pencil portion of the video where I sketch the entire thing out, look in the description and you'll find a link that you can click on that will take you to the Sharpie portion of the video. It's never taken off that easy. I'll even include one for color. But for those of you that are going to stick around, I'm going to start off with a quick sketch for myself and get us going. Okay, so a taper. That's that's basically what it's based on. Um, you, you can look it up. They're uh, Malaysian, I believe. No, I believe I was. I, I saw the videos. I saw shows that it's Malaysian. So uh, I, I'm trying to say it like I know what I'm talking about. Like, like oh, you know, um, some kind of. No, I had to look it up. I don't know what this is. I looked up strange creatures, and uh, it popped up, and so it's Malaysian. But it's like I don't know. I can't. I can't describe it. It looks like a an elephant. No, not an elephant, but like a, a, uh, yeah, I mean, kind of an, it's not an elephant, right? But that's, that's for some reason, that's what I'm thinking of. Um, but it's not, it's not an elephant in any way, in any way. I mean, the, the nose is all that really makes me think of a, an elephant and it's not even a trunk, you know, it's just some kind of floppy little thing that he can move around a little floppy doodle you know um but uh kind of like a what's the other thing i'm thinking of it's not really a a uh i don't want to say a hippopotamus or a pig maybe a, like a cross between a pig a pig and an elephant i guess a pig event that's what i should have called it a pig event you know what that'll be next next week we're gonna do a pig event Although, no, because, I mean, that's what we're doing right now, right? <laughs> so I can't do the same thing twice. Okay, um, but we do gotta, we do gotta mix it up a little bit, kind of make it a little, a little creative, you know, a little, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, fantastic. That's, that's what it was. Oh, so speaking of fantastic, so I was trying to think of a name for this this adventure, you know? Um, the creative creatures. And I wanted to do fantastic monsters or something, but everything, everything I searched came up fantastic beasts. I was like, oh, come on, man. I can't take that because it's already being used, you know? But, uh... It, it was frustrating, and everything I looked, every every search I did, fantastic monsters, fantastic, it, it all fantastic beasts popped up, and I didn't want you to be trying to remember what this is, and then research, and you can't find it because fantastic beasts is such a popular thing that it, it's not possible, you know. So I just wanted you to come up with something that uh, is a little more easy, easy to find. All right, something like that. I say we try this um, and see where it takes us. We'll give him some bigger ears. It almost looks like a rat. Hey, I say we work with it, you know? Maybe maybe we'll do some kind of like fur right here. Fur on the shoulders, you know, a little... There you go, a little something like that. That'll give us a, uh, a nice... A nice mix of, of trying to come up with a creative creature okay that's that's it I think I think we're there I gave him like a crazy tail the the tapers don't have tails but uh, ours does ours taper flops and I don't know where the flops came from I just try to come up with some kind of let's make it a a creature you know like a not a cyclops like a uh, triceratops or you know what I mean one of those kind of ops it's an op creature Okay, yeah, that looks good. I say everybody get your pen and your sharpies ready. Let's welcome everybody that skipped. 
get going because I think I've erased enough that I can just go with that. Yeah, let's do it. Let's see what happens. Okay. All right, let's welcome everybody that's skipped. Welcome, skippers. Welcome to the Sharpie portion of the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. So I think a different drawing of the day. You can join along and have some fun. I'm going to be using a Sharpie fine point and a Sharpie pen. Mostly the fine point, but it depends a little finer than the fine point. You can find things that a fine point can't quite find. I've sketched the entire thing out. I've erased the majority of the sketch lines, but left myself enough of a guide that I can use it to take us on this little Sharpie adventure. So I'm going to just dive straight in with the Sharpie fine point and just build on it. Okay, so let's start off with the head and you'll see where we are. So the front of the head, I'm gonna I'm gonna taper, get it, because that's what it is, built on like a taper, and like this. And I like that curve of the taper. So that's kind of the whole idea, just to kind of build on that. Um, let's do the side of his head. His jaw is gonna come in like this, down to his mouth, like that. And then I can draw the other side of his little taper nose, like this. And I'm gonna draw some extra little uh, fluffs and, and bends and and wiggles, but I wanted to draw the, the basics of that first, right? So we can get the idea of the shape. Uh, here, let's do the head, I mean the eye real fast so you can see where we are. Like that, okay? Then I'm going to use this to add a little bit of extra. A little bit of, of detail. I mean, color is going to take care of a lot of this too. It's what it always does with our, our creative creatures, you know. But I wanted to give you a little bit of of uh, extra, so you can kind of see the nose, the feature like that, you know. You know, something like this, just to kind of show that it's got a little bit of of, of indentions and. And style but again the other thing is we're not drawing a taper we're drawing a taper flops you know and so we can kind of do oh, it almost looks like a tear poor poor sad taper flops so we can kind of build it into whatever we want you know all right but what I really like are the colors of the uh, the uh, the babies oh my god the babies look so beautiful but I don't know what happens and the color changes completely to, well, you know, you, you, you'll, you'll see when you go and research them. I'm not going to blow it for you because this is ours. This is not a taper, but again, it's built on it. It's, 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 uh, it's not built on that. It's the idea, you know? Okay. So let's draw. The, the ears, I'm going to do bigger ears than it normally has because again, I kind of like the baby. The baby has these big old cutesy ears, so I'm going to do something like that. And it looks almost like a mouse. Okay, now I want to do like, like a, not, not quite spikes, but like tufts of hair. So I'm going to do, it, it started out, I started drawing like spikes, but it's like, now let's not do spikes, let's do like hair tufts. Tuft, not tough, like strong. Tufts. You know, just to give us something, because I'm going to do some fur on the shoulders too. Um, this will also let us do the other ear, now that I have this side decided. But I've got edges there, so I can go ahead and continue it like that. And I'm going to go ahead and draw this ear out. Like this. Again, I'm just going to go and close that off, and we'll show a little bit of, of, of inside. Again, we can't do too much here because it's, uh, it's the, the side of the head that we're looking at, right? And I should be letting color take care of this, but I wanted to do... Just a little bit of, of definition here. There you go. Kind of something like that. Okay. There we go. Kind of a, a furry, furry tuft mess. Okay. So, 
I'm gonna continue back and I gave it a tail too. So let's do some more of those tufts. Not too much, but just something like that, just to kind of help define that it's a a, uh, a, a furry back. And we're gonna go back this way. Let's make a big tail coming up like this. And we're gonna go ahead and let's add on those tufts. See, and this is where, like I said, it kind of felt like fire. It was like, nah, I gotta. I gotta define it a little bit more as, as almost like a, a a poofy tail, you know. And again, I'll come back and add some extra. So where it's not connecting, I know it's okay. We're gonna come back for that. I'm just gonna go ahead and <laughs> go ahead and draw the sharpie like that. Did you hear that line? That little wee, that little uh, complaint from the sharpie. I'm trying. I'm trying hard. And so he cried. The Sharpie was crying. Because I'm making him work so hard. Boo hoo, Sharpie. Boo to the who. Alright. There you go. Something like that. A little bit of a little bit of mess. A little bit of tuft. There we go. Oh, okay, so let me do this that I was talking about. Do some extra tufts, kind of like this, just to help define it so it's not such a, a big line. It's not such a thick line, I guess is what I'm trying to say. Let's see, we're going to go out like that. So we're doing kind of a little thick and thin complement. Something like that. we go just kind of like I said just kind of hair tufts you know that's all we're going for and then I'm gonna go ahead and add some points to this because my sharpie wasn't quite as thick as I wanted it to be or as thin as I wanted it to be so there something like that okay awesome so I also had the idea of putting some uh, fur on the shoulders too so Let's do this shoulder here. So the neck's gonna come in onto this shoulder. But again, I'm gonna do some, some tufts of hair. So I'm gonna do, and see what I was saying, how it almost felt like fire. I'm trying not to do that. I'm trying to make it like furry, fun tufts. Again, see it's coming out like a kind of like a fire. There you go, just some kind of, you know, again, we're gonna play more with color, but I'm gonna define a few little um, um, tufts. I don't know why I'm trying to come up with a better word. I mean, that's the nice thing too, is because we're doing like, you know, creative creatures of whatever we want, it doesn't even have to be tough. So you can call this anything you want. You can say, oh, that's that's a, a cabbage arm, you know? <laughs> I mean, it's it's just a, a creative, whatever you want it to be. There we go, let's, let's leave it like that. And again, you don't have to draw all the lines I'm drawing. You know, you do what you want, but I'm just kind of showing you an idea. You know, an idea of how I draw. And then you draw how you draw, and we'll need somewhere in between. All right. Okay, so that being said, I'm gonna draw the leg out. And so the leg's gonna come like this. There's the elbow. I'm gonna make it a little, a little bumpy, a little, a little elephanty. the whole idea of of tufts and and, and uh, wrinkles so I'm just kind of accenting uh, um, 
the, the folds of skin. All right. There you go. Okay. I keep keep going, leaning back and, and looking. Oh, you know, I can add this. Ooh, I can add this. That's kind of the idea. So this one is being lifted up. So that means we're going to put uh, this arm down. So I'm going to Let's see, we're going to say it's coming down, this, and the toes are going to be right there, so they're kind of back behind it, so I'm going to almost do the exact same thing, but flat. Okay, so see, one's up, one's down. How's yours coming out? Awesome. Okay, looks good to me. And then we'll say you can see some of the hair like that from the other side. Not too much because again, if it's on this side, obviously once you flip it over, you're gonna see something back there, but just a little bit, just for our realism, you know? So we're going to do the same thing, but with the back legs. So I'm going to draw the body like this flowing through. So we're going to say that's going underneath, back behind that leg. It's about right there. Then same thing, just kind of make some tufts. Make that old flame, flame, uh, flame leg. This one I'm not gonna cut off like that. I'm just gonna I am gonna accent it like this, but I'm not gonna cut it off where I did the edge there. I'm not gonna do it here. That way I can say it's a little different, but also not, you know. Let me go ahead and do the, the same thing over here for the fingers, for the toes, I guess. I called those fingers, didn't I? Oh well. You can call them what you want. Okay, and we'll, we'll, let's go ahead and do this back leg too, and, uh, and then we'll add the detail. Okay, so we'll say this one is planted down, this, they're stepping forward, this one's planted down. Something like that. Now let's add some detail. Let's get cracking. So there you go, just some simple lines like this, just to, uh, just some simple lines to, to, to accent it basically. Okay, and again, same thing with the fur. I'm just gonna add what, what, what would be fire, you know. I don't know why I keep saying that. I'm the one joking around that I don't want it to be that, then I keep reminding you, hey, look, it feels like I'm drawing fire. Okay. So there you go, something like that. Let's just do one more, just to take up that space, just to break up the, uh, the, uh, um, the negative space. And something like that, and there you go. So we'll say some more fur type kind of things. Or flames, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> so there you go. So there, I say we take care of the rest with color. So that is a taper flops. Oh, so there you go. I say we take care of the rest with color. So for creative creatures, that is a taper flops. So here's how I colored it. Tell me what you think in the comments below or show me what you did in our Discord group. Just have fun and make it your own because remember, this is how I draw. You draw how you draw and we'll meet somewhere in between. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more adventures on how I draw. Plus don't forget to hit that notification button for new videos.